Hello, and welcome back to your complete English lesson. Today, we will do our fifth listening comprehension lesson. In this lesson, I want you to listen carefully to each time I read a story part. I will read it two times each. Then I will ask you questions. After that, we will look at the story and check our answers. If you need to, go back in the video to listen to the story again before we answer the questions. Listen to the story. I will read it two times. What to do if a bee stings you? If a bee stings you, the stinger will be in your skin. There's poison in the stinger. Take out the stinger very slowly. There will be a red bump on your skin. Put ice on the red bump and it will get smaller. Listen one more time. What to do if a bee stings you? If a bee stings you, the stinger will be in your skin. There's poison in the stinger. Take out the stinger very slowly. There will be a red bump on your skin. Put ice on the bump and it will get smaller. Comprehension Questions Take one minute to answer these questions. We will check them after. Let's check. If a bee stings you, the stinger will be in your skin. There's poison in the stinger. Take out the stinger very slowly. There will be a red bump on your skin. Put ice on the bump and it will get smaller. If a bee stings you, what will be in your skin? The stinger will be in your skin. What is in the stinger? There's poison in the stinger. How should you take out the stinger? Take out the stinger very slowly. What will be in your skin after a sting? There will be a red bump on your skin. Listen to the story. I will read it two times. What to do if you see a bear? If you see a bear, don't be scared. Turn around and walk away slowly. Don't run or the bear might chase you. A bear can smell you before it can see you. If a bear smells you, it will usually run away. Bears aren't friendly. Listen one more time. What to do if you see a bear? If you see a bear, don't be scared. Turn around and walk away slowly. Don't run or the bear might chase you. A bear can smell you before it can see you. If a bear smells you, it will usually run away. Bears aren't friendly. Comprehension questions. Take one minute to answer these questions. We will check them after.
Let's check. If you see a bear, don't be scared. Turn around and walk away slowly. Don't run or the bear might chase you. A bear can smell you before it can see you. If a bear smells you, it will usually run away. Bears aren't friendly. If you see a bear, what should you do? Turn around and walk away slowly. Should you run? No, you shouldn't. A bear might chase you. What can a bear do before it can see you? A bear can smell you before it can see you. Are bears friendly? No, they aren't friendly. Listen to the story. I will read it two times. What to do if you get lost? If you get lost, don't hide. Your family and friends will look for you. Rescue workers and search dogs will look for you too. Sit down and don't move around. If you see a helicopter, wave your hands. If you have a whistle, blow it. Listen one more time. What to do if you get lost? If you get lost, don't hide. Your family and friends will look for you. Rescue workers and search dogs will look for you too. Sit down and don't move around. If you see a helicopter, wave your hands. If you have a whistle, blow it. Comprehension questions. Take one minute to answer these questions. We will check them after. Let's check. If you get lost, don't hide. Your family and friends will look for you. Rescue workers and search dogs will look for you too. Sit down and don't move around. If you see a helicopter, wave your hands. If you have a whistle, blow it. Should you hide if you get lost? No, you shouldn't hide. Who will look for you with your family? Rescue workers and search dogs will look for you with your family. Should you move around? No, you shouldn't move around. What should you do if you see a helicopter? Wave your hands if you see a helicopter. Great job today. I hope you enjoyed this listening comprehension lesson. Next, we will do a reading comprehension lesson. If this was difficult, listen to the lesson again for key words in the stories. I will see you next time for our next lesson. Goodbye. And remember, you can check out the Patreon account and get private lessons with me or get more information on the lessons. So I will see you next time. Goodbye.